Similarly, every minute you waste by not reperfusing the ischemic brain tissue, you are going to lose approximately 2 million neurons and they are dead forever and you are not going to get them back. And that is why the first thing that you need to know with regards to any stroke is identification. And remember, stroke is a clinical diagnosis. You probably may be confirming the stroke with imaging later on, but initial identification is always clinical. And remember, the time is brain. Dr. Eugene Braunwald famously said once upon a time that time is muscle. How true is it? Because every minute you waste uh, by not giving reperfusion strategy, reperfusion therapy to heart, you are going to lose a lot of muscle. Similarly, every minute you waste by not reperfusing the ischemic brain tissue, you are going to lose approximately 2 million neurons and they are dead forever and you are not going to get them back. And remember that the clock is always ticking, so you need to act fast. And that is why we are famous acronym for the identification of stroke in the form of something called as be fast. Previously it was only fast but this missed out on a lot of post circulation strokes that's why they added the other two letters B and E to include some of the signs and symptoms of post circulation stroke also. So what is B fast? B stands for balance issues like loss of balance, headache or dizziness and E stands for eye problems like blurring of vision or double vision like diplopia and F stands for uh, Facial weakness, that facial asymmetry, deviation of angle of mouth or drooping of face to one side. A stands for arms and legs probably, where you, uh, you can demonstrate the weakness or identify the weakness. And S stands for speech difficulty, which can be dysarthria or probably even an aphasia. And T finally stands for time. Once again, time is very, very crucial and important because if you waste time, you may not be able to give certain reperfusion therapies at all. And you need to immediately activate the nearby emergency as soon as possible. And by the time you are identifying the stroke, you need to get the basic details done. And the most important basic detail of all is going to be the last seen well time. That is LSW. When the patient's attenders seen the patient walking, talking normally like before last in their home. Or when the patient himself identified to be normal like before last. So that is what they refer to as last seen well time or some people will be calling it as last seen normal time also. Remember, I am not going to use the term window period which is sometimes misleading. So it's better to use the term last seen well or probably last seen normal time. And then you need to get the CBG. There is a capillary prick, finger prick glucose. Remember, hypoglycemia causing neuroglycopenia is a great mimicker of an ischemic stroke or any stroke for that matters. And we need to get the BP done. All these things will take a fraction of time only. Remember BP more than 185 or 110 is a contraindication for thrombolysis and it has to be lowered immediately to less than 185 or 110 by giving labetron according to some, many of the tertiary care centers right now in the country. So once you identify the stroke, and get the basic details done, you need to also understand why we are chasing time. As you can see in this image, if you have a patient with acute ischemic stroke, there is going to be an area that is going to be dead forever. You cannot do anything about it and this is what we refer to as something called as infarct core. And it is dead forever. You cannot do anything about it. But what we are trying to do is to salvage the surrounding area which is basically ischemic but still viable and if you don't do anything to salvage this area this will be dead forever as well and this area is what we refer to as ischemic penumbra and as you can see here at 30 minutes mark there is some infarct which means there is some core tissue that is infarcted you cannot do anything about it but there is a large salvageable ischemic penumbra which is still viable. But at 2 hours mark in this example, the amount of infarct has expanded 
and the amount of salvageable ischemic penumbra has declined dramatically. And by the end of 12 hours, there is no salvageable area and the entire area that was ischemic once has gone for an infarct and it is dead forever and you cannot do anything about it. That is why you need to act fast. The sooner you act, more neurons you are be able to save. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.